Blades Abyss. Charging Pokey Blender, a spear slash switch glaive bends at 10 grace build. Hello everyone and welcome to my Charging Pokey Blender build guide, a build that pokes and blends things. This is a very high octane build, not for the sensitive or faint of heart, that utilizes versatility from the Benzatin's Grace set and works marvelous with Spear, Switchglaive, or both. Please do not attempt if you experience heart palpitations when watching this video. In this guide, I show you how I built it, alternatives to choices I made, address some obvious shortcomings, demonstrate certain Ben stack building combos, and finish off with my shortest level clear to date. If I'm being honest, this is not my favorite pill, but it was fun to use and create. Short disclaimer here, all background footage you see is from 360 plus 20 or higher scrolls and I was using a lackey controller, so please, do not judge me. Normally when no one is watching, I'm really good at this game. Sets and bonuses. For my primary set, I went full bend, six pieces for the seven piece bonus. I originally stopped at versatility, but was having key management issues, so I incorporated the final piece. As for my secondary set, I went with Mataz's Master of Spears, primarily because the 5% melee damage was the most convenient with Toshi's Abacus, making it easy to obtain. And finally, for my complimentary, I tossed on some Pit Viper Boots for the negative 5 active skill key consumption, to help quell my key management issue mentioned earlier. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of bands, alright? Primarily because it doesn't offer much beyond the 6 and 7 piece bonuses. I prefer more versatile options. See what I did there? No? Okay. Guardian Spirits and Soul Cores! My primary Guardian Spirit is my usual secondary bay. Inos is how. Inos is how. My original intent in this build was to maximize charging moves and mid attack damage reduction. Unfortunately, I found out along the way that most charging moves suck and made the most of what I could. The defense bonus Amarita Gauge is a pretty decent defense buff. For my secondary, I went Ho, simply for the high attack damage bonus, since most of my best skills reside in that stance. For my soul cores, I of course went with Gazuki, because his move is a charging attack. He's also, like, really good at depleting ki. I don't know if anyone knows that. I settled for Bakagani, since she procs water on her attack and offers a small damage reduction. Yes, Bakagani is a female. Get over it, sexist. Oni Roki was a must for my third because of her beefy mid attack damage reduction. Also useful for punishing enemies if I get surrounded. Oni Roki is also female. Don't mind her balls. Weapons. My primary weapons are the spear and the switch clay, both imbued with purity. I use both weapons evenly, so talismans aren't really an option, making the imbuement necessary. The inheritable effect of my spear and my bonus confused enemy is really good. If you don't know, you can transfer it from a soul core to a corrupted weapon, then from the corrupted weapon to the weapon you want. You may notice I have grapple damage on both. Since I have Gazuki and this Switchglaive, there is ample opportunity for grappling. On the Switchglaive, it has Skyward Blade key damage, because that is your best key damage move for Switchglaive. I'll cover that later. For the range, just make sure you put damage bonus agility A on both, and do whatever else the hell you want. Armor! Through a lot of trial and error, I figured out this was the most cost-effective way to reach A agility and maximize mid-attack damage reduction. My boots are light intentionally for the extended dodge and vulnerability. You may notice my star traits are active skill key damage on my veteran's gear. This is because you cannot temper those effects, but you can temper active skill damage. So if you can't get a double star for both those effects, it's better to settle for active skill key damage. The other effects you might want are attack and untouched omnium. Put them in where they fit in. 23 stamina minimum for this armor combination, unless you heavily invest in strength, but don't do that, that'd be dumb. Accessories and items! For the accessories, Toshi's Abacus and Yasukani. Both dropped with a star effect and did not re-roll them. You can re-roll for these effects, but I don't recommend it. It takes a long time and you will hate yourself. I'll briefly cover the items here. Carnage Talisman for a sweet damage buff. Barrier Talisman because I love not being out of key. New Pepo Meat for quick attack boost before my big hits. Elixir to heal. Luckbringer for good items. Extraction for meme heals. Soul Purge for an even greater attack boost for polishing off enemies. Steel Talisman for lovely armor. And the last four can be whatever. The scroll effects you use are at your discretion, but I recommend the ones I have here. Discussion. 
Now, as seen from the footage, this is a capable build that can take on the highest difficulties this game has to offer, but there are some flaws and I will list them here. Even though it can do a heavy amount of damage, I never could get comfortable using this. And it felt a bit clunky and I found myself having to use Burst Counter or Gazuki to escape difficult situations. I don't really enjoy playing like that. These two weapons don't have good moves to apply status effects outside piercing rain. If I was to remake this, I would probably use hatchets instead of switchblade. I would primary spear, but use hatchets to engage and proc elements with deadly spiral. Deadly spiral is a charged move, so it would fit and probably be better. I usually play with A agility, so this transition to B was a little weird. I also found myself constantly being interrupted mid-attack, which kind of defeats the primary purpose of mid-attack damage reduction. I would substitute my light armor for heavy and try to reach that 300 toughness threshold. CONCLUSION! Alright everybody, that does it for Charging Pokey Blender. I hope it was as good for you as it was for me. Overall, it's a competent build with high damage and high sustainability, but could be better with some adjustments. This discussion segment has helped me realize the flaws in this build and will probably update this build in the future. Or you can beat me to it and make this build your own. I will close out with three different combos for quickly building nine bend stacks, followed by a short level clear. Then you can go charge poke blend some yokai. Okay, I'll stop.
circling above Open shapes in the sand Looking through an illusion With the sun shining in my hand The sun shining in my hand Comets are crashing in the holes in the sky. The cosmic embrace melting into a portrait of size. A portrait of size. Yeah!